What's good, Bit Rushers? It's Kyler, and today we're going to be going over how to mine Bitcoin with your Windows 10 PC in 2020 and beyond. But before we get into the content, I just have a couple of quick announcements. Number one, I'm now on Twitter at BitRush9000. You can find the link in the description. I started a Telegram group if you need help with any of my videos or you just want to chat and join the group. BitRush9000, link in the description. Finally, we're almost at 500 subs for the YouTube channel. When I hit 500 subs, I'm going to be giving away some Ethereum. So be entered for that contest. Simply uh, sub to my channel and leave your Ethereum address in the comments below. Thank you guys and let's get into it. Okay, so how to mine Bitcoin? It's a question I actually get asked quite a bit. It's one of the more popular questions um, that I'll receive you know, from people just getting into cryptocurrency or people just finding out about mining and wanting to make some money doing it. A uh, common misconception is that you actually cannot mine Bitcoin on your PC. So I apologize, title is a little bit of a clickbait title. But before you leave, uh, I am going to teach you how to mine other coins such as Ethereum on your PC and get paid out in Bitcoin. It's basically the same thing, right? Okay, so getting paid um, or get your mining Bitcoin is um, fairly profitable right now. We actually, as of today, is the middle of June 2020 and we're having a little bit of a pullback here to 9100 uh, nine thousand one hundred and fifteen dollars and eighty five cents in USD value for Bitcoin you could see earlier this month we were up quite a bit over ninety five hundred we were actually up around ninety eight right before the drop and uh, I, I still think Bitcoin is going up we're trending up we just had the having so if we look at a larger chart here let's look at the 90 day chart you can see we're definitely trend, trending up since uh, the drop off there in March. So for me, it's definitely one of the more popular coins. There is a index that shows Bitcoin's popularity compared to other coins. And it's, you know, pretty much constantly going up and down. So depending on where you are on that chart, you know, any given day, Bitcoin could be more profitable or less profitable than all coins. And so that's your decision, how you want to get paid out. If you, if you want to get paid in Bitcoin and it's, essentially you're mining bitcoin right you're mining some sort of coin and you're getting paid in bitcoin it's basically the same thing you might as well just be mining bitcoin for your sake as long as it's profitable however there is also the ability to mine some of the other coins and so i just want to cover that real quick you can go to whattomine.com and you can set up your mining operation i currently have nine running i have eight on my I call it at my pickaxe. It's my uh, eight GPU mining rig, and I have eight 1070s, and then I have one 1070 in this computer that I'm running. So you can plug that in here, whatever you have for your graphics card. Let's just say, for example, you had maybe one 480. So you could type that in and um, turn this on, and you'd be able to see your hash rate. You can also put in your electric cost. <laughs> and then hit calculate and it's going to calculate your mega hash or your hash rate and your wattage for every single one of these uh, coins and um, protocols and then you can come down and look at the actual coins and you'll see what's going to be most profitable for you you'll see your revenue for the day and then your profit so if we were mining ethereum classic with 1480 we would be making 51 cents a day and after our electric cost we would profit 25 cents now um, keep in mind this doesn't cover your hardware costs so if you're buying this uh, graphics card or your pc or whatever and planning on paying it back this cost does not have that included so you would need to add that in additionally yourself basically what i wanted to show you guys is that there's multiple coins to make money so if you're new to this don't be stuck on just bitcoin however i'm currently getting paid out in bitcoin i mine many other coins and i get paid in bitcoin so I definitely see the value in Bitcoin and that's currently what I'm doing. If you guys would like, I do a weekly payout video where I cover how much money I've made for the week. I do that every single Friday. So I'll go ahead and link the most recent one in the description. And if you want, you can check that out and see how I'm doing with my nine uh, 1070s. Just to show you guys, let me hit calculate. 
So I'm currently making about $3.60 profit a day, somewhere in there, maybe a little bit lower. Uh, I, I'm usually mining Beam actually lately, and so for Beam, I think, yeah, I'm, I'm making a little over $5 a day depending on the day and about $2.70 profit. So pretty good guess. So how we're gonna do that is it's a program called Kudo Miner. And I have a few other videos on Kudo Miner and setting it up, um, all that, but I'm gonna show you guys everything in this one. I really wanna go over it and give you a, like a head to toe um, overview of the software, how to use it, how I'm finding it, um, helpful and how you know how I've set it up to be the most useful for myself so to get to kudo miner I have a link in the description and if you do use my affiliate link you will get 5,000 satoshis free uh, worth of Bitcoin and you know if you're gonna sign up anyway why not start out with 5,000 free satoshi right so go ahead and use my link in the description and that will bring you to kudo miner I'm going to just open up a private tab here so it doesn't remember my settings. You're going to come to a screen that looks just like this. The future of cryptocurrency is mining. Sign up and download. Simple as that. Click the link. It's going to ask you, you know, how you want to sign in. And you're going to have to sign up. I recommend just signing up with an email. However, if you have a Microsoft or Google sign in and you find that easier, go ahead and do that. Um, you're going to just sign up like a regular account. You're going to need your name, email, password. You're going to have to have a um, certain number of characters and things like that for your password. You're then going to have to uh, do like a two-factor authentication for your email address. Get all that done. Once you have that set up, you can then um, open up the, the mining software, right? So download it, set it up, open up the mining software. Once you open your mining software, the first question it's gonna ask is your username. So you're gonna have to remember your username to be able to put in, okay? So it'll bring this up. Once you open that up, you log in and you'll have a screen that looks something like this. This is the Kudo Miner software. And from here, the first thing you're gonna want to do is to come uh, under your graphics card and go to advanced settings. And right here, you're going to um, see default hardware settings. I'm sorry. I apologize, that's wrong. Okay, so we wanna come to settings. Right under settings right here, the very first setting is enable third-party miners. Okay, so this is turned off when you first do it, and I believe possibly the new workloads and the enable overclocking is off as well. So I have all the both those turned on. Enable third-party miners is just gonna allow other mining software to run on your computer, which is what you want. Um, if you have sensitive data on your computer, I don't recommend you doing this on that computer or setting up a separate user account where it doesn't have admin access or anything like that. I'm not necessarily going to be going over computer security here, but if you know if security is an issue, definitely don't run uh, you know any kind of third party any software on your computer if, if there's something that needs to be secure on there. So if you guys figure that out, but for the most part, um, we're going to enable third-party miners and we're going to enable overclocking. This allows, obviously, our GPU to overclock. And from here, you see under you have uh, CPU algorithm settings, and currently there's only one um, that I'm aware of. Maybe you have a more powerful CPU than there's something else, but um, for me, you know, as much as I'm aware of, it's only Monero. So if you want to mine Monero with your CPU, um, which is your computer processor, then you can turn this on. If you don't want to mine with your CPU at the same time, you can turn that off, and that's called dual mining. And you will uh, increase your profitability if that's what you're gonna do. If you have a nice CPU, I definitely recommend it. If you're trying to use your computer while you're mining, I do not recommend it, unless you have a really beefy CPU because it's gonna slow you down. Next, you're gonna come here, and mine says NVIDIA. If you had an AMD, it would just be AMD algorithm settings. So it's the same thing for both of them. They have slightly different uh, miners that are able to use uh, each graphics card. So depending on you know the size of your graphics card, um, how many gigabytes it has, you know the memory, et cetera, um, you're gonna have different miners that you're capable of using. So click in here, and you're gonna just want to click into each one that you wanna turn on and enable it. So it would be off 
you're just going to turn it on. I also come down and I always turn on the GPU memory optimization because I am overclocking and I want to be able to optimize. So I just do that and then you would simply click save. So now I have Beam turned on. I'll show you one that I don't have on. So I currently am mining Beam, Grin, Raven, and Zcoin. Those are the only ones that I have turned on. But let's just say as an example, I wanted to mine Ethereum today. I could come in and simply switch Ethereum on. I already have my GPU memory optimization turned on, but if you don't, you would need to turn that on. And that's it, so come down, save, and it's now gonna put Ethereum into my rotation, okay? So if I come back to the dashboard, I can just click enable, and when I click enable, it's just gonna start my mining. That's quick and easy. Uh, very, very simple, easy to use. If you know how to download and install any basic piece of software and you know add a few settings, that's all you really need to do, guys, is just start um, the mining. You can see now uh, Monero is running, and the Raven coin is still starting up. That, uh, Raven coin seems to be a little bit slower to get going. It takes a couple minutes to get it going, but it's one of the most popular coins and one of the most profitable. Okay, so it actually just switched to Beam. For whatever reason, uh, this PC really likes Beam. And so what Kudo does is it has an algorithm that kind of switches between the coins to figure out what's going to be most profitable based on the hash rate, the cost of the coin, and your particular mining operation. And so for me, it seems to like Beam a lot. And I've tried to like force it to do Ravencoin because Ravencoin is making more money, but I've actually made more on Beam than I have trying to force it to do Raven. So I'm not sure exactly how that works, but um, you know, I'm a believer in Kudo. Their algorithm works. They seem to be making me more money than if I was just mining on my own. And coming to the stats here, you can see it switches between different coins throughout the day. And if I come down to the hour, I've mainly been mining Ravencoin, and I'm always mining Monero, so it's just switching between Beam and Ravencoin, it looks like. And if I come to the minutes, you can see I turned it off at the beginning of the stream because my video tends to um, run better when I'm not mining, but I wanted to turn that on for you guys just to show you. I'm already mining here, and you know, within the minute, we're, we're making money. So come back to my dashboard and I'm going to just disable this. I'm going to show you a few settings now within Kudo Miner itself. So the web platform, when you get here, you just log in. You'll probably already be logged in if you just recently signed up. And I have mine set to the dark mode. If you're in the default setting, this is going to be white background, but it's just a setting, so you guys can do that if you want here on the left. Um, let's see, where is that? Yeah, choose theme. So light or dark, you can do that. Also, you can choose your display coin. So right here, I have everything set up in US dollar because that's what I'm using. If you were only mining a certain coin, like say you, you only wanted to get paid out in Bitcoin and that was it, you could change this to Bitcoin and it would have BTC. It also has Satoshis, which are the you know decimal points of Bitcoin. So if you went to Satoshis, you can now see how many Satoshis you have and how much you're making and have everything paid out in that. Um, say you were doing Ethereum and you wanted to see Ethereum, you could have it in Ethereum. Uh, and you have your ETH value. So really kind of cool here, guys. And then um, this is your main screen, your home screen. It kind of just tracks what you're doing on a day, month, and year. And you can uh, check your devices. You come here and you have a list of devices. I currently have three devices running. So I have my pickaxe running, which is my eight GPU mining rig. And that's what I was talking about before, where I have, and you can see each one here. And then I have, I call it the shovel, and it's just my old business PC, and it doesn't have a graphics card, it just has a uh, Intel i70, and, um, or i7, 6700, I believe, and it's mining the Monero there, so just that one mining Monero, and then I have, this is just kind of my gaming, um, you know, personal PC here, and this also has a 1070 in it, and I occasionally mine this when I'm not using it, so just to give you guys an overview of that. Let me switch back to, where's the USD? USD, and the estimate revenue is 322, but that's really high. That's not gonna be accurate for you guys. 
Um, like I said, I do go over how much I make each week, and I have payout videos if you want to see that. This week, I made just under $35. It was like $33 and some change. And obviously, that's revenue, not profit. But that, that's that's about what I'm making for all of these. A um, couple other cool things. You can see your wallet and just list all of the coins. If you want to get paid out, you go to transactions and pay out and you're going to be able to just send it to any wallet you want so if you want bitcoin you're going to send it to your bitcoin wallet if you want ethereum you can do that and you can change your coins you're mining too guys so this is the really cool part is i'm choosing to get paid out in ethereum if you wanted you could choose to get paid out in something else so let's just show as an example you could get paid out in ethereum you could get paid out in monero and you could get paid out in ravencoin the other really cool feature is you can just keep the coins. So if you uncheck this box, you will now keep the coins that you're mining and whatever that coin is. So if it switches between the coins and it switches between some beam and uh, some raven, I'm going to get some beam and some raven. Whatever I mine, I actually keep. However, for me, I'd rather get paid in Bitcoin, so that's why I have this set up, guys. So. Quick and easy, like I said, how to mine uh, Bitcoin Windows 10 2020 and beyond. You can't technically mine Bitcoin, but you can mine a number of other coins and get paid out in Bitcoin. So easy as that, guys. Once again, if you found this video useful and you want to use Kudo Miner, please do use my affiliate link. You will get uh, 5,000 free Satoshi worth of Bitcoin, and I'll get a little bit as well. So it helps me out, helps support my channel. Other than that, smash the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications on future videos. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Share with your friends. Happy mining. Let's get that coin.